Like a true princess, Carlina gets up leisurely. She casts a sleepy yet stern glance at the noisy children in the nap room. The kindergarten of Ivanyan is her favorite place. I sing, I play, I do my lessons. In order to not miss out on these important activities, she tries not to be absent, except, that is, when she has to stay home because of her fever. I've been absent very little, only when I've been sick. Ruzan, Nare, Puryur, and their classmates can at last attend kindergarten. And in such a colorful new building, everything about it is beautiful, they say, expressing particular fondness for the fairy tale depictions on the walls. I like the pictures. Ivanyan's new kindergarten opened its doors in October 2016. The building, the furniture, and all those dazzling colors have been made possible by the Hayastan All Armenian Fund's Toronto affiliate, with additional support from the government of Artsakh. Here in Ivanyan, people always remember what Mukherjee Mukherjeeyan, the chairperson of the fund's Toronto affiliate, had said at the kindergarten's opening ceremony. The diaspora has two options when it comes to Artsakh. It must either take up arms to defend this land or build things. Now we have everything we need to educate these children, while they have everything they need to spend their childhood playing, learning, singing and dancing. Parents too are happy for having their kids receive their education in such a marvelous kindergarten. Although she's been a teacher for the past 20 years, Susanna Danielian had never had the chance to practice her vocation in earnest. That's because the village of Ivanyan has never had a kindergarten. Instead, tiny groups of kindergarten-aged children used to receive instruction in a room inside the community school, where they had neither the space nor amenities for playing, eating together or napping. There was no water, no playroom, no cafeteria. That's why most parents didn't bring their children here. Only about 11 children attend that makeshift kindergarten. Whereas today, the newly built kindergarten has 49 students. Danielian says the facility has every possible amenity for the education, leisure, and comfort of the children. Serene moved to Ivanyan a few years ago. Her husband is a military doctor. He works at a hospital. As Serene stayed home with her small son, Ruben, she often felt bored. Since October, Ruben has been attending the kindergarten, where his mom has found work as a teacher. Ruben's answer is always the same when he's asked where he'd rather be, home or at the kindergarten. Where is it better, at home or here? He says he prefers the kindergarten. Well, it's not just the children who love it here. We too are very fond of it. It's not only his grandchild that Babkin Yergin Baryan walks home after school. He gathers all of his neighborhood's kindergartners, tidies them up and accompanies them to their homes, promising them that they will come back to school the next morning. Will the mere existence of the new kindergarten promote demographic growth in Ivanyan? The answer will come in exactly nine months.